Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 11 of my full platinum walkthrough for A Plague Tale Requiem. Okay, we're on chapter 11, so exactly, <laughs> as always, exactly where we left off at the end of the previous video. Uh, Cutscene, skip, and on we go. So we've left the, uh, the tower, the fort from the previous video, and we are back in basically chapter 9 again. You see the windmills there. And we've got to make our way across using the magic crystal, of course. So this is the last the last chapter before everything starts going really wrong. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be getting pretty much everything. We'll just have uh, one thing left, so one feather, one um, flower, one secret chest, one uh, souvenir after this one. There is no combat in this chapter at all, so it's all uh, kind of puzzle and just moving forward. And, uh, and story so there's nothing much to worry about with regards to that so skills we won't really be working on you will be picking up very uh, small portions of um, opportunism uh, along the way it's really really marginal it's really short you probably wouldn't be able to tell uh, but you will be picking some up because you are using uh, materials I actually got the Platinum the first time doing it after doing this section we're doing right now. I had to come this far into the game because, uh, it, not that it messed up, but uh, that's why I was I was testing, let's say. So I had to come quite far into the game. We're not going to have to come this far into the game next time. Uh, but yeah, it, this is why I was trying to avoid too much aggression and things like that. Plus I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on with opportunism. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is the point where I got the platinum once we've finished this section. So it's just a point of uh, a case of moving forward with that magic crystal. And uh, yeah, that's it really for this bit. So yeah, there's a load of people going to die to the left hand side. We're not going to watch that though, we don't need to. We're just going to move forward. It is nice of Amicia to tell Hugo it's not his fault when... I don't know, it kind of is, isn't it? At the beginning of this chapter. So some pieces there, there's a pieces chest. We are going to get to a point where we, in this chapter, there's going to be, they look like pieces chests, but they're not going to have pieces in them. So I won't be marking those ones. So fire an arrow into this wood here, and then walk across, and we're going to pull the uh, the cart towards us. Now, what you can do and what I will do is throw some tar in it as it comes past or comes towards you. Uh, because I have I've died here before, weirdly. Um, the cart is actually quite quick, and if you're not right on it as it comes past, um, because I usually try and grab the arrow. That's what that's why I died probably because I tried to grab the arrow. But if you just hit it with some tar, it gives you that extra breathing room because it's a lot brighter. It's not essential, but. At the, the pace I was keeping up there, there is a chance you would die. It's The rats do get off to you pretty quickly. And you will also see me, again, crafting every time I've used one something just to get those pieces. And, uh, yeah, just clear up whatever you need to grab from there and uh, we'll move on. So a big, long pushing section here. And the chapters will become considerably shorter after this one as well sort of I don't know so 15 20 minutes each last one 17 being even less than that quite short condensed and moving towards the end obviously Not really much to say about this, is the <laughs> push the cart up the hill. It's the Count's duty to offer shelter to his people. Yes, he's a real knight. Okay, so you can just make out there's some hay there, so you can light that and just run. It's it's light enough to make it for you to make it. Quick craft, get that extra piece, because I know I'm about to chuck this, and then craft again, get an extra piece. We will be really close to uh it's gonna be borderline whether we're able to get 
all of the upgrades done in one playthrough. It's I have a feeling I might we might get there. It's gonna be really by the end of this one we just have one uh, upgrade left. But like I said, the the chapters are quite short and um, more set piecey rather than exploring. So there's not much in the way of uh, finding things to find. So make your way across here, and then we're in the the centre of chapter nine now, where we've found that map. We burn that grass down, and that's what we're we're going. That's where we're going to go. Is inside the map. Jar there. Now the reason I run past here is that there is usually a small chest here in chapter nine. I was just checking if it's there in in this chapter. It's not for some reason. So interact with the column. And they're going to push it over somehow, and uh, <laughs> and then we're in the caves, and this is this is where this this chapter takes place in the uh, the the cradle of centuries, I suppose that's what it's called. But it is uh, a lot of walking and not much else. Bit of puzzling, but it's you can't really call it puzzling because they're not exactly difficult. So checking, I've not got, I've got everything made up because there is a little chest behind here. It does look pretty cool down here when you get when you these fires, you light them up. The way it lights everything else up as well. Through something, so I've got a craft. Just checking the corners, even though I know there's nothing there, I still check corners. Uh, there is a chest in here though, it's quite obvious. Not quite obvious, it's very obvious. And that one does have pieces in it. Uh, so yeah, the next thing we're going to get is the penultimate feather. So yeah, we will be using explosives as well. Like we've not been using enough that gets even better. The explosives we're able to use, although it's just barrels of explosive. Weirdly, they're not painted red. I thought that was, I thought it was a mandatory thing that if you use explosive barrels in the game, they had to be painted red. But uh, no, not in this one. I'm just waiting for the dialogue to finish so we can carry on. Through the hidden loading screen. Does a PS5 game really need loading screens? I don't think he actually has them. <laughs> so once we drop down here, I think this is going to be the room. Yes, yeah. So yeah, this is when we start using the explosive barrels now. So just run, interact with the gate first to get the ball rolling, as it were. It's stuck. And then Sophia's going to walk over here, and uh, it's Greek fire. Maybe they are red, and the lighting's because it's so dark. Can't actually make it out. So yeah, once she says she's going to pick the barrel up, uh, just come over here, find out whatever you need in there. Find whatever you want in there, and then go and hide behind here. I've done my fair share of blowing things up, you know. There. Oh, it might actually be red. That's kind of coppery looking. Yes, just keep your head down. And just hit it. Yeah, it is. Oh, it says Cooper. <laughs> Cooper. Copper. I'm going with. Um. Yeah, and then just hits it with fire and it explodes. Pretty real exp uh, feeling explosion as well. And then once you've done that first one, you're going to walk to the end here and look down here for another one. I am a bit close when I do this. I think she does take damage. There is a red tinge to the edge of the screen. Unbelievable. And then we'll go through and you've got the European goldfinch feather on the floor here. 
But before you turn around, turn around and leave, look in the left-hand corner in the dark. There's going to be some pieces as well. There we go. Just one more feather and one more flower to get. There, you can't see them, but they're there. Now we need to work our way around workbench if you need it. At this point, just do whichever upgrades you like. Uh, I can actually do this one, so I'm going to do I do it now? Why don't I do it now? That's weird. I could do it, but I didn't do it. I do it later. I don't know why I didn't do it there. Huh. So look through the wall, blow the gate, and we're go ready to go. Pyrite, if you need it, you will potentially need to use some pyrite afterwards. So uh, make sure you've got some. Get out of jail free card. When you come through this gate, look to the left. You can find some pieces. And then on the other body over in this corner, there's going to be a knife. So we do need that for this one because there is a secret chest coming up, but you should already have some knives. That cart's loaded with this own Greek fire tank we saw. Oh, that looks dangerous. And now we're just going to let this drop all the way down. That's going to make way, uh, make us a, a way out. Oh no, we've got the slow walk again. We do get to take in the nice lighting though. Okay, so in this big room, this is going to fill up with rats in a minute. Um, this is a, a puzzle section, kind of. You have to move these carts in a certain order. So I'm just going to light that up. That's going to light all the carts. And then the rats are going to come in. So you've got three. We're going to start on the right hand side because that's where the souvenir is. All the, the good stuff is on the right. So we're going to go down there first. So pull the cart towards you. You could probably actually refract from here. I was thinking that while I was doing this. Maybe you could actually refract to this one. It definitely feels close enough. Either way, if you pull it towards you, you can just push it uh, back again. Oh, we're just going to make a quick stop for that. Not that I need it, but it's shining at me. I have to open it. Oh no, we've got one thing out of it. Okay, so there are junctions in this but it stops every time you get to one automatically so don't worry about trying to steer it or, or put it in the right position it's all automatic so I'm going to keep pushing it down here and it's going to stop once more there's obviously there's a lot of rocks in the way so we can't carry on where we need to go but we will open that path up so we'll go this way first And then it will stop here. And then we're going to get Sophia to refract the light. And we're going to drop off the edge over there. Now on this barrel, uh, on this crate here, yeah, you can see it. There's some pyrite, just in case anything goes wrong. You might need to uh, bash your way out. There's no way she had a line on that fire still. And then open this up. And then on this table is souvenir number 19. I'm not even going to try. Yes, I am. The Chateau de Ombrage. I think it's something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, souvenir number 19. We're nearly there. 
plan. There must be a way to get rid of that wreck. Okay, so in the, my other run of this, there was an arrow down here. Um, there isn't this time for some reason. But if you don't have an arrow for whatever reason, you can't shoot into that, that box there. Just climb up and use that pyrite to get out. But that arrow is going to light up everything, allowing us to open this chest. You can't open a chest while using pyrite, so you'll just have to throw some uh, fire onto the floor if you want to open this chest up but you should have an arrow you uh, bolt you'll be fine now we're going to solve this and leave the area because there's nothing else to see so i'm going to push this all the way towards the middle again there it's going to stop now the idea is that you pull the one on the left towards you as well, but you don't need to do that, that one over there. So you're just going to refract to this one. It doesn't come all the way towards you, it, it still stops quite far away. Uh, but you, you need to pull it slightly forward so you can refract to it. But if you can't, don't worry, just throw some tar on both and you can run to it. I do like that they duck. Usually they just kind of get in the way, don't they? Well done. Let's push this one. So here's another example of a chest that looks like it's going to have pieces in, but it does not. And now we're going to push this one down one, and then all the way off to the left, or right, I suppose it is. It's just going to sit in front of this other one. You could probably, I wonder actually, uh, if you could just hit this this middle one with some tar and that's bright enough because it's going to stop quite close to this one anyway. I wouldn't try it, but I wonder if it would get close enough because it only stops there. And it's just so we can reach uh, this barrel over here behind the debris. You probably would be able to get with... Uh, Just using some tar. Anyway, it's stunned now. We're going to push back to the middle and then get back on the other one again. Push that one back and then round and then we'll leave. So stop there, that's where we were before, and then we'll push it round. And then there, and then on we go. Camera's pulling back to show us the scope of what's going on. We're here. We've done it. Finally. Good work. Yes. Let's push forward. Oh, all the guards. I can't believe she took Feels a bit like a uh, control this bit if you've played that. A big long uh, she was bridge across a, towards a dark door. He was everything to her. Something bad was happening to him. But still no combat. Once we get through this door, it's another puzzle section. It's nowhere near as convoluted convoluted as that last one. It's just uh, quick, simple. So there's going to be a cutscene. I'm going to skip it, obviously. And then, yeah, we, we saw, we kind of met the other protector in a roundabout way. So once the cutscene's finished, go off towards this door, this one here, you can interact, this one, it's got a red flag on it, so you know. Uh, interact, send Hugo through. I'm just going to check this te uh, chest, there are no pieces in it, it is another fake chest with nothing particularly good in it. And then by that time Hugo will have opened this door up, 
And this is souvenir number 20, his toys. Children's clothes, toys, they're silly. They're his. This doesn't look like a playroom, though. They took them away from him. It means his clothes. This one is definitely going on a lot longer than I remember. For a child. Not just any child. We'll see. Let's go back to that door. Okay, there we go. So that's number 20, just one more left. I figured it out. I can pull the bars out. Trying to get <laughs> Hugo to do the yo-yo again, but he's not up for it. Tell me when you're ready. I hope I'll have more luck than you. Yeah, it's automatically showing me you figured it she's telling me she's figured it out. You haven't figured it out because you haven't figured out that you have to do this first. I need your uh husband. you need to twist this round or get sorry, get um Sophia to twist it. To open it up and we're gonna pull this cart. get her to drop the gate and then she's going to open up uh, this one use the switch on the left I don't know why I'm ducking <laughs> I got away with not doing it throughout this whole um, guide so far pressing circle to cancel holding something but ending up ducking instead and then we're gonna lock onto here once she's opened up there we go and that's gonna tie this to there because they're brakes essentially they hold the doors open, and we're going to use Hugo on this other one. And that will hold everything open, while both Sophia and Amicia open the giant door. So you can send Hugo over. I think it did the trick. It does feel a bit God of War like again, this. The huge door and the, the where we're about to go. The huge bridge. The way the doors are opening like that. I can only imagine what that that smells like. <laughs> and once you know what it actually is, uh, yeah, it makes it even worse. I suppose you don't really need to light that, do you? Maybe, maybe not. Let's go. I want to go back. Please, you go. So it's a good idea too, isn't it? Oh, what are we breathing? Rats, Bess. But the air is much thicker. It's been there a long time since Basilius. I think so. It's a tunnel of death. Yeah, again, this feels very God of War. The big chains, the big lifts that we're going to be opening up. This is not welcoming. So it's going to break this and it's going to open everything up. And this is essentially the last room where we actually have to do anything. Just waiting for the prompt because we're going down. Those two are going to stay up there, though. It could work. I'll try first. Be careful. So yeah, a little bit of a cutscene. I'm going to leave this in. It's like two minutes. Not two minutes. Like two seconds. Just slide down, and then uh, it's going to run. We're going to have to run from the rats. But over. Are you all right? Nothing broken. No, just a bit shaken up. But now we know that was a bad idea. Squeeze through. There is a chest over do. here. Again, it's another one that doesn't have any pieces in it. It's to. It's just got materials in it. Break this chain and it's onto the rats. Hey, I don't know what you did, but it worked. It's those chains. 
They handle the bridge. Come on. This is too damn hard to narrow there because you will need uh, two for this bit. We don't need to, but it's just I think it's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, I'm using I seem to use fire oil. I don't use odorous at all. You may have noticed <laughs> it's very very rare that I use it. It may be one of those instances where you're supposed to use odorous. I don't know. Um, I guess it's kind of around, so maybe. But I do prefer just fire and tar, honestly. I think it's more effective. We're just going to run over, grab a stick, and then run back. And I'm going to light this stick and just walk into these rats here. And you can see there, there's some uh, some pieces. And then we're going to do exactly the same again with the tar. There isn't uh, a bolt here. Make sure you don't pick up. <laughs> Take the one that's lit. Uh, you need to hold triangle to remove the one that's lit anyway. I don't know what I was doing there. I managed to fire and waste a bolt. What I was trying to do was like that. And then, yeah, I remembered you can't actually... For some reason, you can't light the sticks off the, the bolts. Oh, no, you can. Of course you can. I got the prompt... For some reason I had it in my head that that's going to remove the bolt from the uh, the wood. No, you can light. That is the, what you're supposed to do. So do that. Light the stick from the uh, from the bolt. I doubled up on the old uh, tar again. Like I said, it's extremely effective. So there you go. But no, that was the prompt to light, not remove the bolt. So uh, yeah, do that. Another false chest there. And then if you jump up and come through this side, there's going to be some pieces over here and some pyrite, which I don't need, so some extra pieces. Some episanguis. Another false chest. I do wonder why they, they, they kind of removed the pieces from these ones and why not just use the regular small ones. I, I don't know why they've done that. Throughout the whole game, ten chapters, those those chests meant pieces. Anyway, break through and then go through this side, and we are going to have secret chest number nine. And this is where I do my upgrade. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. Honestly, the plus was there, which meant uh, I was good to go. And of course, we can do it at any time. <laughs> Yeah, I got that upgrade early, but never really used it. It was to move towards other ones. So yeah, it was there earlier. So yeah, alchemy. alchemy. I don't know why I said it twice. <laughs> I thought I was mispronouncing it halfway through the word. I didn't. Um, yeah, and then we get the trophy pocket library there. So we're really close on that second sling upgrade as well. And I will be able to get it by the time you get out of this side. So light this up and push it along. And we're going to be keeping an eye out for two things here. So when it opens up on the right, which is very soon. I think it's here. Yep. We need to go up and round and over. There is a bolt here, which means, yeah, I don't, that wasn't me pushing forward then, that was that she climbed up, so <laughs> light from down here is probably the better option. So fire the bolt into the, the crate, and then light this one up the good old fashioned way. And then we need the crate, uh, sorry, the barrel. They're going all Donkey Kong on us, rolling barrels down the hill. Pull it 
over, and I'm going to clear the debris and make a run for it. Well, push the cart along a bit more. Perfectly, thank you. I'll go back to the cart. Yes, quick. You're almost there. So yeah, once you've come through this side, if you keep your eye out on the right-hand side, you will just make out some pieces there where that wheel is. Just push it enough so the rats aren't in the way. Or close to where they, they are, sorry. About here is fine. And then hit it with some tar. I'm going to do exactly the same again. There's no way that she's not taking the skin off her face. <laughs> uh, push through here. Uh, maybe wait, yeah, wait a second for the tar to wear off and then hit it with another. And open up this tool chest. And then make a run for the ladder. And then we are clear. Almost done with this chapter now. With the last sequence coming up. Which is more running. Like literal running this time. So I'm just going to check my upgrades again now. Yeah, so we've got one for the sling. Which means we can shoot two times, which is actually quite good. And the, the final one is one I would... Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can stun enemies for longer with rocks. I suppose in a pinch that's quite good. Um, but it's easy just to throw some dust in their eyes. Okay, so we've got a big long walking section here uh, to get to the bottom of this. I suppose it's a tower, um, but it's not. She does a cathedral, I think she calls it, as we go down. Oh, it looks bad. Lord. Yeah, cathedral. Feels like a cathedral. We will be able to start jogging a bit soon. There we go. And it's just, yeah, go all the way down to the bottom while exposition happens. Well, I suppose it's not exposition, it's character development, this bit. He brought you here. It's your legacy. I don't want a legacy. I want to be normal. Before we get things back to normal, you must live. You want that, but I keep ruining things. It does take you're quite a while. <laughs> you're, you're a child. And the good news is, you know we have to run too. all the way back up. Right, so I think it's coming up shortly here. It's as it narrows off. Hugo's going to be irritating again. Well, I can't really blame him at this point. Where is it? Here. No. It's as it narrows off. Wow, this is a lot longer than I remember. <laughs> nope. Here. Okay. So he's going to pull back. And we're going to have to carry him the rest of the way. You can't really blame me. You can't really imagine <laughs> what, his feeling, what the feeling's like in his head. I'm going to carry him to the bottom. There's going to be a cutscene kick in, and then it's run. Run, run, run. So I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to skip the cutscene, but we'll be ready to run uh, as that kind of plays out. It's a big moment as well. So as you get to this... So I'm going to skip in a moment, and yeah, be ready to run as soon as they say this. So when she looks at, like, the, at the eggs like this... Or the egg sacks just run up to the left. Um, you can get snagged and die on here. I did the first time. It was, and um, Sophia's not going to wait around. She's just going to go for it. So be ready to jump up, jump up the ledges. It's when you go through the door on the left. 
uh, it kind of pushes you too far left with the camera and you get kind of snagged here this bit you go triangle and then there you get snagged on there and it can be can mean death that as you come up here the rats will catch up with you don't worry it's it's checkpointed you'll you'll carry on from there anyway it'll be fine but don't be surprised if you do I did think I was going to because uh, yeah Sophia was well ahead but we're okay she's gone again <laughs> thanks for waiting And uh, yeah, once we escape this little section here, we're up left here, and then jump up. And then there's going to be a towards the camera running bit as we go across the bridge and that. Uh, yeah, once we get out of this, it's that's it. That's the chapter done. Done and dusted. The next one is very short. Big, big story moments coming. That's why everything's speeding up. Short chapters and things like that. So it's it's getting good from now here on out. Although it's been good for all already, but uh, yeah, it's coming to the end now. So keep going, and just as you run up this bit, this is the last bit. You'll come outside. There'll be a cutscene, and then you will get the trophy, the Cradle of Centuries, for finishing chapter eleven. Right. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.